As you're working in Max MSP, you're going to find that you need help. This is not anything to be ashamed of, and you should just get in the habit of looking in the documentation as soon as you can. To access the documentation, you can go up to Help and Search. You can check out the references. And from the references, you can open up the documentation. Documentation is kind of split up into different objects and topics like Max, which is primarily for control, MSP, which is primarily for digital audio, and Jitter, which is primarily for dealing with matrices and video. When in doubt, hit home to go back home and search up in the search box. The tutorials are also quite good. There's a lot of stuff in there. There are tons of objects. It's just really good to know. But what if you're looking at code and you find something that you don't know what it does? I'm going to create a new object called F0, but what is it? What if I see that and have no idea what it is? Well, I can find out either by searching for F0 up here in the documentation, or I can use the shortcut. The shortcut is Command-Shift-H on a Mac, or Control-Shift-H on a PC. That brings up the help file. This tells me the object name, that it's a fundamental frequency and pitch estimator. The tilde indicates that it's an audio object. I have different tabs up here, that go through basic demo patches showing how it can be used. Different settings, using it with filters, onset detection, and general tips. Good to know. All of these basic tutorials are really, really good because they are set to be playable. If I turn on audio processing, it's going through and detecting what I've got coming in through the mic. I can change that though to something like an oscillator, which as you can see is a little bit more stable for a pitch. Or I could use a noise source. Well, okay, that's a good estimate, but uh, not perfect. I can do this with literally any object. It doesn't matter what it is. So if I find something like uh, an end slider, and I think that that's a cool looking object, but I have no idea how to use it, command shift H or control shift H on a PC, boom, there it is. This tells me exactly what it is and how to use it. If I have other questions though, I can always click on this final tab, which is always going to be a question mark, which gives me the option to open the reference or to see related objects. This is super useful. The reference will give me example snippets that I can copy and paste into a patch, and it tells me everything about it. I have arguments that the object takes. In this case, there's none. I have attributes that I can edit in the inspector, and I have the messages that it can receive. So I can use that to talk to the object, to change various parameters about it, and then most importantly down here, it tells me what the output is. Just something to really get in the habit of. When in doubt, Command-Shift-H. Select the object and look at the help file.